as you saw in one of his videos, uh, he has published uh, numerous other videos. He he was uh, pretty much conscious that he was uh, probably was going to be arrested. Uh, but his um, uh, decision to go back to Georgia was motivated by the fact to um, to motivate and to galvanize his supporters, but also um, uh, other uh, supporters of the opposition who were critical about him before. Um, now many of his former critics among the opposition uh, recognize his personal courage and uh, uh, maybe he's starting his new political life. He knew that he was going into prison, but at the same time in the countries like Georgia, going to prison uh, is a part of the political life. Unfortunately, no one would believe, and no one believes really, that the, the judgment that Georgian court made uh, several years ago about him is not politically motivated. The United States of America, the European Union main partners, strategic partners uh, of Georgia, uh, have uh, many times criticized Georgian courts and the lack of independence of Georgian court. Mr. Mikhail Saakashvili was traveling everywhere in Europe, uh, all over the world. He has never been arrested despite the the uh, uh, demands of the Georgian government to to uh, to uh, to uh, extradite him to Georgia. So uh, only Georgian court recognized him as um, uh, as guilty, and uh, there really doubts that the international community would recognize him uh, uh, as a, as a common law prisoner. He will probably be considered as Georgia's most famous political prisoner now. You know, the country's current president has ruled out uh, a pardon. Will this yeah. decision likely just galvanize Saakashvili's supporters even further? Yes, but he. Uh, th there's uh, one thing that should be made clear, because he was, uh, the current government accused him for uh, coming back to, uh, to destabilize the country. You see in the videos, he constantly called uh, Georgians to go and to vote and nothing more. And by the way, he surrounded himself without offering any resistance. Uh, so this uh, claims that he came uh, to Georgia to destabilize the country, to organize street clashes, etc., is just not true. And at the same time, uh, the Georgian opposition and uh, numerous international um, observers will uh, will recognize that are, is really pressured by the, during this uh, political campaign by the ruling party. The ruling party is using tremendous uh, measures. Um, administrative measures to to uh, uh, to impose their force. Uh, they 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 spent ten times more money than all other political parties. I want to ask you about this, this weekend's elections because you know it seems that they're just municipal elections, but it sounds like they have repercussions on the national stage. Yes, because these elections um, happen in the midst of. Uh, um, huge political crisis that started uh, two years ago in Georgia, and the decision uh, and the European Union has med mediated between the opposition and the, and the government. Opposition who did not recognize the results of the of the last elections because they were uh, severely flawed, mm. uh, and the the, the um, uh, mediation European me mediation was that according to the scores of this. Um, municipal elections, there could be uh, anticipated elections, general elections. That's why this, uh, these elections are considered by the opposition as a referendum about the snap elections and anticipated elections. OK. 